Hello guys, good afternoon, Alex I here. Um, I think I'll try to do this a really short video. I don't have a lot to add today. Um, let me just show you um, the milestone, how I'm going on the milestone for you just to give an idea of the progress. Uh, I saw Rage, I think it was Rage has already cleared milestone nine. I am really close uh, by. I have been a little bit busy. I mean, distracted. I forget uh, to do my my um, rotations. Uh, again, I I mentioned in one of my videos the 5,500 milestone points that I gave help a lot uh, in regards of the end goal. We still have three hour, three days, almost almost four days, and I'm just shy of 5,000. Um, at some point, so it's completely doable. I try to do as much as I can today, tomorrow, uh, and, and I finish early. Now, um, you might or might not have the same luck. Sorry, I was not showing the web page, but yeah, uh, that's it. it. And kind of easy to finish event. It was about four rotations a day, maybe five, and with the mountain points that I gave. It help you be reduced to five or three rotations, give or take. So yeah, it's it's not bad. Now let me go to the game. Um, I saw a couple of videos regarding um, Mephisto that he's already in the test service and everything. Obviously, I as a normal free-to-play uh, player, I don't have him, but his kit is is completely insane, guys. Um, I don't think we have anything on the web page, right? Let me just double check. Um, characters. No, campaigns. Characters. Uh, Mephisto. Yeah, no, we don't have him yet in on in game. But he is gonna be insane. He has a couple of attacks that well he goes first he has 127 speed he goes first he uh, starts the game the yeah the game the round whatever awakened he uses he can use the awakened um, basic uh, special ultimate and then he goes again uh, without awaken with his either ultimate special and um, basic and he applies exhausted and he applies exposed so exposed means that enemies can't gain any buff that uh, makes the character not being hit dodge block um, evade invisible all that stuff right and it, it i mean it's very good it's very good but uh, it's not like the big pain yes here uh the exposed no the dodge exposed the um the other one, I just mentioned it, but I forgot ha, already. But the other one, uh, exhausted, exhausted. It's it's insane, guys. Um, uh, he shuts down Black Knight's, um, sorry, uh, Black Knight's pings. Shuts down Black Knight's pings. He shuts down any character that gains turns. For example, Doom, whenever he goes to 50% health and gains turns. Um, I think Red Goblin, I think uh, Vulture, obviously uh, Hive Mind, um, Apocalypse, I mean, he, uh, Super Scroll, he's not going to be able to earn turns anymore. So uh, Mephisto is the counter, the hard counter to everything and everyone in the game. Like, that's final. Um, I mean, it makes sense. He's a new Dark Dimension character, right? Um, he's a counter for um, Super Scroll, which already has a counter, which is uh, Black Knight. He's a counter for Black Knight. He's a counter for Apocalypse, for Robbie, for Black Cat, for Dormammu, for... I mean, anybody. Just, just say a tune. He's a counter for it. So, um, he's gonna be insane for the whales, krakens, maybe even dolphins. Good luck unlocking him. Good for you. More power to you if you spend. 
uh, you'll get uh, you'll earn the bang for your buck. Honestly, there's there's nothing there. Um, for uh, us free-to-play players, it's gonna be a bad time. We're gonna be facing um, Mephistos in war, in Crucible, in Arena, in the first 10, maybe for even first 50 ranks of Arena, depending on the shards, and um, it's gonna be a nightmare. <laughs> it's gonna be a nightmare. Now, for DD7 plans, I saw Boylan's stream yesterday, and let me show you my um, my msf.com. This is the team that he used. Uh, he calls it a fantasy team because this doesn't mean that this is the team that he will be taking to to Dark Dimension Seven. It's just the cheapest, fastest characters that that you could get to <clears throat> to level um, to get tier 19. And the biggest issue here are is the astral energy and the um, I I don't remember it was it was another one um, maybe I already have it but yeah uh, well not the gear tier 19 obviously it was honestly I don't remember no 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 give me a second it's not carbonadium or any of that stuff um, uh, yeah, maybe it's it's because I already have them um, year 18, but it was astral energy and it was a, a different one. Now again, I'm I'm not saying that this is my recommendation. I'm not saying that this is the team I will take. It's a possibility. Maybe why not? Actually, um, in that regard, I think there are pretty good up uh, choices here. Um, Robbie and Vulture. Vulture is the cheapest one, and he's he's good. He's very good. I have already mentioned it. Uh, Craven and, and Lizard. I mean, they are cheaper than um, Venom and, and Carnage, so maybe that's a better choice in regards of the fastest way to start D7. And uh, Venom, to my surprise, Venom. Um, and and uh, it smells like dirt or something. And with Venom, you're um, double dipping on rates, which is good because maybe soon we'll have incursion rates three. And we will get more crimson gear, hopefully. Instead of half a, a, a uh, armory 19 orb, maybe one orb, please, please, Copley, listen to us. Uh, then uh, cosmic, it's obviously city is the first one. That's why. Maybe then global, obviously black knight, it's a no-brainer. Uh, Gambit, he's very good, and you double dip for uh, caution three. Tigra because she's the cheapest one. I mean, I, I, I also took Tigra because she was the cheapest one. I don't regret it. I don't find her the best character, but she's not bad. She's not bad at all. So I, I, I agree with Toyland. And Forge and, and um, uh, Sunspot because of the charge mechanic and revive mechanics. Uh, so, and you double dip for Incursion Raid 3. It, remember, guys, we need to prefer for Incursion Raid 3 because that's going to be the main source of our uh, Crimson Gear. Now, Cosmic, Void Knight for Incursion Raid, Void for Incursion Raid, but probably um, Mystic, Tech, yeah, Mystic and Tech will be outdated for, uh, and Power Grab for Incursion Tree, so yeah, you're double dipping, but I don't think they, they will um, make the cut for Incursion Tree, and of course we will uh, have a different team, but on time, so at least the first two, three months, four months, we will be still be running with um, Bifrost and obviously facing a lot of challenges because of that. But at least this way we double dip on, on raids, in Corsion Raid 3. Uh, Kang, he's very good, Cosmic Crucible and that's it. Well, War and maybe even Arena, I think. But I mean, yeah, it's good. And uh, Icarus and Cersei, that's what I'm surprised. You need um, a certain energy here for Icarus. That's the issue here. Uh, so, yeah. But, yeah. It, I mean, these guys have always been good. I don't see why not. But, yeah, they are the, the best characters for... Uh, at least for Cosmic, according to... Uh, to boil on, I mean, in regards of resources, usefulness, and everything. Now, uh, legendary, it's Goblin, Duck Cock, Black Cat, and <laughs> I'm surprised for Poilon, but not for me, uh, Omega Red, but 
I mean, I'm taking this guy to DD6 because we don't have, unless the other guy just gets released and I unlock him. But um, uh, he, he doesn't recommend um, Nova. Instead, he, I mean, that's obviously that's a no brainer. Take the new legendary and that's it. And finally, for Mythic, it's Apocalypse, it's Super Scroll, it's Zoom, it's Ormamu, and uh, um, a Kestrel. Kestrel, and you double dip for Tech in Raid, in Question Raid 3. But again, I think Tech will be um, um, power kept. So, again, another team, and I think we put during 3 4 months, we are not gonna. We are gonna be playing with uh, Pegasus. So that's it for today, guys. Sorry, ten, min ten minutes of me babbling around, but I think that's that's the news that I have. Insane Mephisto, Mephisto's insane, and the D7 and everything. It's gonna be a challenge, and I mean, everybody knows how the game works. Pay to win. So I mean, good for whales and dolphins. For the rest of us, maybe in six, seven, nine, one year uh, from now. We will be able to unlock him. Uh, I th I think I'm approaching the six month, seven month mark of the release of Super Scroll, and I'm just I am close to unlocking him. But yeah, that's that's how it rolls, man. If if I can optimize and I can decrease that time frame to six months, I'd, I'll be as happy as I can. But yeah, that is Marvel Strike Force. So thank you guys. Uh, really appreciate if you subscribe. Um, please do like, share, and leave your comments regarding my opinions, regarding my uh, thoughts, and thank you very much. Have a great day, guys. Goodbye.